Welcome to the titling segment of the After Effects Basic Training Series. All right, this is where we create cool looking text, or we try to. Well, the main thing we're going to take a look at is the text tool. Here it is in its glory. When you click on the text tool, you usually get the character and paragraph options. If not, here's the context box that brings those up. Usually, you have a little bit more space to work with, but uh, we'll do our best. What I'm going to do is take the text tool, and I've created a blank composition, and I'm going to click right into the comp, and I'm going to type After Effects. Then I can go back to my arrow tool, and I'll center this up. We can also bring up the title safe, and that way we can kind of find the center. Hide that. Okay, I'm going to make some more room for the character palette. Now, we have our font. The great thing about the font is you can use the up and down arrow keys to cycle through it. And if you use the arrow key and you select the text layer, you can kind of switch through it and you don't have to have the text selected. Now, once you find the font you're looking for, we have a few other options. We have text size, text spacing, tracking, a stroke we can also apply to add a stroke or an outline to your text. Click on this back color, double click, and uh, you can just choose a color and I'll create a nice stroke there and you can change the size of it here how it looks whether it fills over the stroke and that way the uh, stroke is kind of behind your text um, let's try another color here now in CS3 you'll notice that the color picker updates in the viewport real time so that's kind of a nice feature right there okay so you can see that a little bit better there and there's also some other options here to stretch the text etc now below here you're probably familiar with a lot of these from Photoshop we have the Fox bold Fox italicized and forced capitalization and then we have sort of the caps with the staggered size now we also have our paragraph options so when we play with our tracking you may notice the tracking happens from the center when your text is centered now if it's aligned to the left the tracking will kind of go out in that direction so just be aware that you may want to change your paragraph options depending on what you're after now after effects comes with a lot of text presets so what are text presets well let's go to our effects and presets tab and then we'll go down the animation presets scroll down text and then we can scroll that down and there's a whole bunch of presets like probably let me see I counted them the other day there's like 80 billion and what you can do is kinda of go through it pick one that you like drag it out right onto your text either in the composition or in the timeline and wherever your current time indicator is that's where the animation begins well, if you remember from an earlier tutorial, if you hit the letter U with the layer selected, you'll bring up all the keyframes for that animation. Then, if you hit U twice, you'll bring up all the animated properties, or all of the changed properties. And you'll see a whole bunch of stuff in here, and you can edit this. But the main thing is these offset keyframes. So I'm just going to hit U once. So now I have the two keyframes for my offset. So this animation kind of animates out and that's what this uh, animation does but I can simply take the first keyframe drag it to the other side and now I have an animate in and I can drag both of these keyframes to the beginning and so I can start my animation whenever I like now if you don't like the animation just hit undo and you can remove it now you can also go to this little arrow and you're probably not going to be able to see it but if you go down to browse presets which is about halfway down it'll bring up Adobe Bridge and you can then go into the presets for the animations of the text double click and then you can see all of the folders and we can go to the organic ones and what's nice is if you click on any one of these you'll see a little animation up in the top here that'll kinda show you what that does and I think if you're crafty enough if you double click on it it applies it to your actual layer so and then we can go to our time controls, hit the RAM preview button. Now if anyone uses this preset, I will lose it. So anyway, that's kind of the basics of the text tool 
and the animation presets. Well, After Effects is capable of a lot more and we're going to go ahead and see what we can create using After Effects built-in tools. So I'm going to create a new blank composition using these settings 10 seconds long and choose OK. So now I have a blank composition. What I have also in my project window is our After Effects basic training star. I'm going to drag that out into the comp window. So this is just a star flattened in Photoshop without a black background. So the transparency is built in. Now I'm going to take the text tool, click in the comp area, and I'm going to type After Effects. Now it sort of kept my uh, effects from my previous text. Well, I'm going to go to my character palette and I'm going to get rid of the stroke by clicking on this get rid of button here. And now I have just my text and what I'll do is with that layer selected, I'll go ahead and scale it down a little bit. Then I'm going to select the layer and duplicate it. So I can choose edit, duplicate. I can also hit control D. So pay attention to those shortcuts. So now there's two copies. Now I'm going to go ahead and scale this second copy up a little bit. And I'm going to type basic training. Now I do have the all caps button checked. I'm going to go ahead and move these down a bit. Okay, so if I position these accordingly, I get sort of my logo from the basic training series. Now, all these layers can be animated together. By I can parent them together. For example, I could parent the text to the star, and then if I rotate the star layer, they'll all follow. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to pre-compose these layers. And what that means is basically nest them into a separate composition so that they all show up as one single layer. Let me show you. So I'm going to select the first layer, hold down shift, and select the last layer. Then I'm going to choose layer, pre-compose. And then it's going to say move all attributes to new comp, and we'll call this logo, and choose OK. So as you can see, all of these layers are now represented by this one layer that I can now move around. Now, if I want to get back inside and edit this or change the color or do whatever, Alt, double click on it or just double click on this pre-comp in the project window. A new comp window and timeline pops up and I can then edit it here. But for now I'll go ahead and close that. So back to my main comp 2. What I have created now is my logo. And now I want to create a background. So I'm going to choose layer, new, solid. And we're going to make a black solid background. So I'm just going to select black, choose OK and make comp size, choose OK. Then I'll take my black solid, move it to the background. Then I'm going to add a gradient to the background. I'm going to choose Effect, Generate, Ramp. Then I'm going to change the ramp shape to Radial Ramp. Then with the ramp name selected, I'm going to move this into the center and this point may be just right here. Now I have two colors to choose from for this radial gradient ramp. Radial gradient ramp. Wow. Great. And I'm going to set the internal color to a dark green and I'm going to set the end color to black. So I've created just sort of a nice gradient. Okay that looks pretty good but what if we wanted to add some 3D to our title? Well we can take our logo comp and turn on the 3D layer switch. 